This is a message from the Syrian High Council, specifically from the aspect of the goddess Parvati as she resonates within this collective Syrian consciousness. We want to share our perspective on a specific type of confusion that is common to the human experience. We want you to know that if following your inner guidance leads you to a dead end, a sudden left turn, or a complete turnaround, that doesn't mean that your inner guidance was wrong or that following it was wrong. Humans usually expect their guidance systems to lead them to the solution, the answer, or the ultimate destination. Because you have this expectation, you can become quite disappointed, confused, or disoriented when your guidance system leads you down strange paths. Imagine that you receive an intuitive nudge. It feels right, so you follow that nudge. You have learned that following your intuition serves you better than following your mind, so you feel confident that you are on the right track. Maybe following your intuition has led you to set something in motion, and perhaps you walk down that path for quite some time. Then, all of a sudden, everything seems off. All the message messages seem to be telling you something else. Perhaps you were completely convinced of something, and now you are convinced of the exact opposite. Perhaps you were trying to do something that you no longer want to do. Perhaps you were trying to be somebody that you no longer want to be. Your shift in vibration can have many different kinds of catalysts. Sometimes you feel that someone, or some fact, or some experience has corrected you. Sometimes you realize that your ego, or your social conditioning, or your fears were influencing your intuition more than you thought. Sometimes you may simply wake up and see the world with new eyes and you just feel that things need to change. This is the point where we see many of you going into crisis mode. You begin to doubt yourselves, doubt your intuition, and most significantly, you doubt the validity of following your intuition. When you doubt your inner guidance in this way, you revert back to your ego and your mind begins spinning and spinning its stories and its misty webs. There is absolutely nothing wrong with being an ego or navigating with your mind. We want you to know that we adore your egos and your human minds. We are highlighting this only because we know that you who are receiving this transmission are practicing softening the voice of your ego so that you can hear the song of your heart. When you are in this place of doubt, when you wonder if you were wrong to follow your intuition in the first place, when you wonder if your intuition was wrong or that your inter interpretation of the messages was wrong, we invite you to remember these three things. One, your intuitive guidance system is non-linear. It does not lead you in straight lines. It will naturally take you down strange and twisting paths. Two, ideas like mistakes and wrong turns are human concepts. From our perspective, we see only spirals of energy that go in one direction and then another direction and then another direction and another and another and another. Three, if you get to the end of a long journey and realize all of a sudden that you no longer want to do the very thing that you were trying so hard to do, that does not mean that you were wrong all along. It does not mean that your guidance was wrong or that you interpreted the signs and synchronicities incorrectly. You took every step with integrity, following your inner guidance to the absolute best of your ability. If every one of these steps led you to a strange change of heart, then we would say that the change of heart was in fact your destination all along. Next time you find yourself making a surprise left turn, just ask, what if I followed my path perfectly? And what if I really did bring myself to the exact turning point that I wanted myself to discover? <laughs>